The fourth and final video I'm having you make in this challenge is very similar to day three, except not yoga. So it can be a tips, it can be a how-to, it can be a step-by-step, -step, but choose something that's complementary to yoga. How to use three basic essential oils for cleaning. <laughs> or it can be something like the best face moisturizer for after your yoga practice, or it can be the best yoga mat or the best prop, something related to yoga practice, but not talking about the practice itself. Something that's going to help enhance your lifestyle. Maybe it's a product. It could be a service you really enjoy. It could be um, shout outs to your favorite teacher. It can even be story time. Story time is just getting on and sharing a little bit more about you. So I do that hopefully frequently as practice and storytelling is a skill that you can learn. It is not something that comes natural to people. So you can get on and just start telling a story. Telling a story is if you're telling someone like your best friend or your mom what happened the other day. So there was this one time where I was over at the coffee shop which is right across the street. And this crazy thing happened. I have to tell you about it. So, so get used to telling stories. So that was just, just an example. Just getting used to talking on camera and being on camera with that eye contact, with the lighting at your face, with a little space between your head and the, uh, the top of the viewer or the top of the video screen. And um, just allowing yourself to be who you are and talk as you talk, giving tips or advice. Maybe it's advice for your audience um, on a deeper level. So this is how we, as yoga teachers, can go deeper with our audience through the land of the internet. We can't have the in-person conversations that we wanna have, and we also can't reach as many people if we stick to our local audience. So by doing videos such as stories, advice, tips, lifestyle, or that topic that complements your yoga lessons and yoga practice, you are building, again, that know, like, and trust factor. People get to know you and they start to relate with you in different ways. Now, I know some watching, or maybe not right now if you're watching day four, um, some people don't like the way that I teach. Some people think my voice is annoying. That's okay, I'm not here to serve them. I'm here to serve the people that need what I have to say. And so I focus on them. Anytime, if I were to get a comment or something negative, one thing I also look at is if someone does say something mean or malicious to me, a lot of times I will delete those because if it's you know, mean and malicious and it doesn't, it's not a critique, it's not productive, I will delete them. But oftentimes if you look at either their number of subscribers or who they're friends with, it's not people I want in my inner circle anyway. So people I don't know on the internet they are not that important. <laughs> Those who are not saying nice things or who reach out, anyway, I won't get into like hate or talk, but just know that those who need to hear your message will connect with you and those are the people we focus on. Your energy goes to where you focus. When you focus on watching the news, <laughs> I hope you're not, that's super, super draining. If you focus on the news and all the negativity and the drama, that's where our energy goes and it's gonna feel very draining. If we focus on serving, helping, energizing, uplifting, doing our personal practice, that's what we're going to bring to the world. So we want to bring the joy, the positivity, and the light. So let's share a story time, let's share some advice. Make sure you've got those three things in there. Your introduction with what you're going to tell people. It's also known as a hook. You're gonna hook them and let, keep them in there. Make sure you say your name and a call to action, either at the end or the beginning, maybe both places, and then get into that section of where you're either telling a story or giving advice or sharing a how-to step-by-step. All right, so this is your last video. It's a little more open-ended, but I hope you continue with these three topics that you can keep doing over and over again with different themes and different headlines, so different titles. 
if you make a bunch of yoga lessons, if you make a bunch of tips videos, and if you make a bunch of stories and advice and lifestyle type stuff, you will have content for months, for years, and your videos don't have to be long. Remember, they can be five minutes, 10 minutes. Don't worry about the editing. We're not editing. If and when you get to the point where you're like, hey, this is going pretty well, and I wanna actually learn how to edit these things, how do I do that? Then you'll learn to do that. Right now, we're not going to. There's an easy way, though, I think you can trim the videos, like trim the edges. You can even do that from your phone. So you can trim the beginning and the end, and you could even edit, if you've got an iPhone, in iMovie on your app here, so you can cut some things out and um, put some text over it, something very simple, but you don't need to. This is the crappy video challenge for a reason, because I don't want them to be perfect. It's really to help you build confidence in your ability to be on camera. Less about what it looks like and how fancy it is. We're not in this to win awards, we're in this to share our message. And I hope that's what you've learned, is it's about sharing your message and helping that one person who needs what you have to hear and can save their life. Okay, day four, go make your video, upload it to YouTube, and then share that link in the post where it says day four video. And I can't wait to see what you come up with.